Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to make a movie database website using the Open Movie Database API. We're basically going to make an ugly IMDB clone using this API. So in this video all we're going to really do is get our API key set up and kind of look at the docs and then make a few calls in the browser to help us understand how this API works and in the subsequent videos we're going to make an entire web app that uses this stuff. Let's look at the documentation. Usage is basically just make a request here. Make a request here for posters. We're not using posters because you have to be a Patreon. You have to pay them to use our posters. Um, so we're just going to get the raw data. So the first thing we need to do is get an API key. We want a free API key. Just put in your username and email and all that stuff there. I already have an API key, so I'm not going to fill this out. But just fill it out and you'll get an email with your API key. So now that we have our API key, we are going to make some requests. So let's, I always like to look at the examples. Um, title, Star Wars, request, and there's the request right there. Now if I do this, this isn't going to work. If I just copy paste this, it's not going to work because I did not include my API key. And it gives me that, no API key provided. So I just have to add an AND, and the API key, the example given up here, API key is the API key equals, I just paste in my API key. And now I get back, there it is, all that information about Star Wars. I could also, if I didn't, let's see if I didn't want to use the title, I could use the search, because the title will only return one, but if I use S instead of T, it will return multiple Star Wars episode 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 3, all the different Star Wars. It also has Rogue One, it has episode 9, so you can do that. You can also get pages. So let's do and page equals 2. Let's get the second page. Clone Wars, Solo, all the different Star Wars, Robot Chicken, Star Wars episode. So you can see how by adding different things to this URL, we can manipulate what data we get back. And right here in the parameters, you have other options. Um, if you have the ID of the movie, that's going to be the easiest way to search for it. And you'll notice here, you have for each one of these, Solo a Star Wars Story, its ID is listed right there. So if you did have the ID, you could use that. Um, if not, you can use the title for if you want one, or you can use S if you want multiple. You can set types, you can set a year of release, you can set whether you want the full or the short plot. By default it's going to be the short one, but you could also do full. So let's do um, plot and plot equals full. Because right now, go, looks like it's not returning the plot at all. So instead of S, we might want T for title. There we go, plot is full, but if we remove that, you'll see the plot's a lot shorter. So you have different options, you can play around with those. And that's really all I wanted to do in this video, is to introduce you to the OMDB API, which is a lot of, a lot of letters, basically it's the Open Movie Database API. Make a few calls to it, we got a um, API key set up, and we made a few test calls just in the browser, just so we can see what it's like. In the next couple videos we're going to actually make a website to so the users can search and have the information displayed to them in our website instead of having to parse the JSON themselves. As always if you have any questions please let me know I'll be happy to help. Thanks.